swords bar should get the stable gauge spell like shield, blade cantrips, and smite spells. Here's why. Hello, hello. Hit here. I rigorously balance play options in DD 5e so that the flavor can shine more when we build a character and so we don't have to worry about whether an option is viable or strong enough. Now, from my previous content, you may know that I like the Gish flavor. Sword and sorcery, spellblade, whatever you want to call it, I love that concept in a fantasy setting. And the swordsbird is so close to being a satisfying Gish, but it doesn't fully deliver on the flavor it promised. It can do blade, it can do spell, but it cannot do spellblade. That's why people often dip Hexblade on the swordsbard. Just a one level dip into Hexblade Warlock. Hex one dip then Swords Bard the rest of the way. Then you take a Hexblade dip. It gives access to Charisma Weapon, which is so broken on Charisma Gishes. Hexblade also gives the Shield spell, which is amazing on Melee Caster, even better when combined with Defensive Flourish from Swords Bard. Both last for an entire round. Both benefit the Swords Bard for its entire career. And it also gives the Blade Cantrips and Raffle Smite just for a one level dip. Z spells is important. Z spells are the pinnacle of spell blade, filling in the flavor gap that the swords bard lacks. And after identifying what the swords bard lack, the solution becomes so obvious. Give the swords bard some spell options that enhance the gish feeling. Those are spells that enhance their weapon attack, mimic a weapon attack, or buff themselves in melee. Of course, of course, they can grab those spells at level 10 with Magical Secret, but that's half of the 20 level range without fulfilling the Gish fantasy. And let's face it, in actual play, many campaigns end before or around level 10. But equally important, I don't want to make the Source Bard overpower. That's a big no-no. We're working so hard on this channel to make D&D 5e balanced. So at the end, I gave the Source Bard an expanded spell list with a few new and thematically fitting spells. Note that these are not extra spell known or extra spell prepared. These are just spells that the Swords Bard could learn. Similar mechanics to Warlock subclass expanded spell list. This means the Swords Bard will need to sacrifice some of their normal Bard spells to select the Gish spells. With all that in our mind, here is that specific feature. As mentioned before, the Blade Cantrips are here, the Shield spell is here, the Smite spells are here. Those are just pinnacle of spell blood in D&D 5e. And some of the spells that enhance weapon attacks or mimic weapon attack, like Steel Wind Strike. That's just a freaking cool spell. Yes, some of these spells could be taken by other bards with magical secret. But the Swords Bard is supposed to be the Gishes. Is that a word? Gishes? The most Gish among bards. So it's only natural that they have access to more of these spells earlier. Now if you have a high passive perception, you may recognize that a lot of what I gave the Source Bard here overlaps with what a Hexblade gives. That is intended to make the Hexblade level 1 dip redundant, giving diminishing return. And voila, we have a perfectly fine Source Bard that can stand their own ground as a single class subclass character and fulfill everyone's Gish fantasy. On a similar note, if you agree with me that Hexblade giving Charisma Weapon from level 1 is too strong of a multi-class option, then I recommend watching this video where I skilled two devils with one smite, fixing both Pact of the Blade and Hexblade. 